times that we've been told about Lingala music, what comes to your mind when you hear about DRC Congo, JB Mpiana, Wera Son, General Matumona Defao, Kofi Olomide, but this time they're trying to take it to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the Viva Afrik show. I'm your host, Obebaba, a.k.a. Shy Bull, and right in the studio, we have the one and only Mohombi. Whoa! Welcome <laughs> in the studio, Mohombi. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, What my a man? nice introduction. Thank you. Thank you, you very Thank much, you. my man. Uh, this is the Viva Afrik show. We're very glad to have you, Mohombi. Right now, the children of Africa, like, uh, when is Mohombi coming to perform here in our sides? Definitely. I'm happy. But, uh, Thank you for the invitation. You know, it's, it's a pleasure. And for me, it's important. I'm African, you know, yeah. even though it's just 50%. Okay. But, you know, those 50% make 100% All sometimes. All right. So. That's the good thing. Mohombi <laughs> got to tell you the kids of Africa. So today, you're going to listen a little bit about Mohombi's story. And watch it out, because he got too much description to tell you the kids of Africa and the people who are living around here in Scandinavia because Mohombi is the man for the Viva Africa show today. So Mohombi, just to start with, can you give us a little bit description about yourself? Well, uh, I like to think of myself as a very happy person, very positive, you know, and I, and I think that I represent uh, the youth, the African youth and African culture. Mm -hmm. I see myself as an ambassador for, for African music, and so for me it's very important to have those kind of interviews where I'm actually talking to my, my African brothers and sisters and uh, and I tell them how much they inspire me because my music lives true. You know, today I'm on the billboard and I'm doing worldwide tours, but this is not the American dream. This is the African dream. Yeah. You know, it's on another level. And you're <laughs> taking it to the next level. Exactly. Oh, you're right, man. You're going to be our, you are our next ambassador right now. You're <laughs> just supposed to be Thank you. putting more cast on you because you're the next. Auto proclaimed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's, what's your opinion towards the African music and how it should be developed, the <coughs> way you look at it, the African new entertainment industry? Well, I grew up, I grew up with African music, mostly yeah. sukus, sukus and uh, rumba, because and, uh, uh, my, my dad is from, my father is from DRC, and, so, and I was born in Congo, uh, and I grew up in Congo, embraced the culture uh, 100%, you know, so I'm bicultural. Uh, which is a bonus. It's a blessing from God. So, but for me, it's like uh, I've seen the, the 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 whole development from where rumba used to be beautiful and classic until they became very uh, more rough and more uh, vivid. What do you mean by more rough? Like uh, it became like a modernization of the rumba. Mm -hmm. Faster. People wanted more tempo and the Jibin Piana and the Kofi Olumide and oh, yeah. you know today we have a good friend of my Fali who's who's representing uh, the, the new generation, and so am I, you know, we are, I'm part of the diaspora. Mentioning of Fale Ipupa, do you think like you're going to be, you can be doing a collab with Fale Ipupa, because I think you guys have both energy, the energy is very vibrant when mixed all together, because you are a good dancer, yeah. you're a good singer. What makes you think we haven't done it yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then the viewers going to be very happy when they see something like that, because you are combination with Fale Ipupa. That's going to be a big thing. Lisasi. Uh, yeah, that's his name? <laughs> no, no, no. Lisasi means bullet. It would be like a bullet. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bullet forgot, of peace. I forgot that uh, you also speak a little bit of Swahili. Yeah. Please tell yeah. me. Tell us that uh, one word in Swahili. Because, <laughs> uh, huh? yeah, yeah, just give us one word in Swahili. What was it we said earlier, like they said in the East Coast? Mambo? Poa, poa. Mambo, oh, poa. That's it, that's How you doing, <laughs> poa, poa? <laughs> okay, Mohombi, when it comes to your uh, career, Mm -hmm. Everybody has challenges. I don't know what you have faced in, the, in your career, something that has given you a tough challenge. Because we all have ups and downs. Well, definitely. We all have ups and downs. And uh, for me, it was, you know, because I've been, a, I, was, I was a very young artist. At the age of seven, eight, I was already uh, on stage uh, and performing and created my own little story. And before that, the group was bigger. It was my brother and I and also my sister. But I had lost her, you know, we lost her, so uh, may she rest in peace. But it was definitely at some point where I needed to, you know, when you make those choices, you know, wh what's going to happen now, am I going to, but it just makes you stronger, those type of experiences in life. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm just looking forward, you know, I'm a very positive person and I'm, I'm trying to get to know the guy I'm going to become tomorrow, you know, and not look in the past. <coughs> okay, so... Do you feel like a one, once in a while you're going to, uh, you know, most artists when they come here, they establish themselves, do collabs. You've done collab with somebody like Econ, Nicole Schisinger, 
pit bull. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in future, what do you, what, what are your plans in future? Do you think that uh, you're gonna be going back to Africa, establish yourself there, doing your own projects down there in Africa? Well, uh, I do African music, but African music for the world. Okay. Uh, which means that I, we, my music touches everybody. I've been literally around the world, and and uh, <clears throat> it's be, it's been a, an amazing journey. You know that I think I hope is soon, you know, not gonna end very soon because I have a vision. You know. Uh, my like my music is a language, and and I have a message to tell. I grew up I, in the in the war and thorn Congo, as we know it, not the old beautiful DRC. I grew up in the rough one, you know, the new one. So it's so if uh, somebody brings you something, you're gonna show some little bit of martial arts. <laughs> you're gonna get your boy born, right? <laughs> exactly. People talk about people talk about ghetto. You know, yeah. I was in LA with a couple of friends who are rappers, and we went to their hood, and and I felt like this is luxury. Guys, come on, you guys they have running water, you got electricity, <laughs> you're talking about ghetto, you haven't been in the ghetto in Africa, you okay, know? Yeah. They started laughing because they realized, wow, this is true. Okay. So, uh, yeah, no, it's, Africa is Africa and, and, I, and I love my Africa. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, about, uh, about your projects, which project do you have in line right now that you're going to be doing soon there in Africa? Because we've seen uh, many artists when they are like uh, established, mm -hmm. they have to make some projects down there in Africa. Do you have any projects in mind that you're going to be doing down there in Africa? Absolutely. Uh, uh, we have a foundation. It's a family foundation called uh, Eli Kianabiso. Eli Kianabiso. Eli Kianabiso. Yeah, you can look it up. And it's actually um, what we do is that we help kids and uh, mainly kids with handicaps that has or functional problems um, and give them a second chance because I believe that the kids is the future you know we all know it but you have to believe it as well and mm -hmm. believing it means that you actually do something for these kids do you get some help from anyone or is just about yourself doing the whole project? well it depends on what project you know now that we have proven to do great stuff we have already built a school we you have a school yeah yeah we have uh, an orphanage with 700 kids that we take care and of. How come, home you don't mention those things to the crowd? <laughs> Nobody knows about that, but right now they're going to know. Now they're going to know. Okay, yeah, okay. Because... Uh, you don't talk too much. No, I like to, <laughs> you know, yeah, I like to walk instead of talking. All right, all right. So the project is going to be launched. When is the project ready to be launched? Uh, the, the project is already on, and, okay. and actually now we... Um, I wanted to take it to the next level and actually build a cultural center mm -hmm. uh, in the Goma uh, region of Congo where where um, people need it the most. Okay, okay. All right. So there's something, you know, this is man-to-man -man talk, Mahomes. All right. This is man-to-man -man talk, <laughs> you know. I wanted to ask you about something. You know, when I see you on your, on your Facebook page, I saw there was a time you're traveling to, I don't know uh, which place. Anywhere you go, you have to go with your little man. Yes. So is Mohombi in a relationship, or <laughs> is Mohombi married, <laughs> or is Mohombi seeing somebody? Well, I'm definitely seeing somebody. Don't discourage somebody. the ladies. There. You know, you know, just tell them in a polite way. Don't discourage them. You know. <laughs> okay, I, I'm mean, gonna. Right? Look, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> okay, it's like this, ladies. Tell them. Let's get it over with. You yeah. Know? Tell okay. Them. It's a man to man talk. I believe in love, them. which means I have to prove it. Yeah. That means I need somebody to love, right? Yeah. And that person exists. So, King of there. Bumpy Ride has put <laughs> it all over there. <laughs> all right, all right, Mahoma. In your career, personally, all artists, they have that song which they, it has given them a lot of stress mm -hmm. in writing that song. Yeah. I saw you doing a collab with Nicole Schesinger. Mm -hmm. I saw you doing a collab with Echo. Mm -hmm. I saw you doing a collab with Pitbull. Okay. Okay, just to <laughs> mention but a few. So which song gave you too much stress? Wow. Um, well, you know, every song has a story. And uh, since I create my own songs and I, you know, I'm part of the whole creative process, like here we are, you are in my home, like this is my headquarter, this is our studios, this is the family lives here. You know, sometimes we crash here on the sofas and everything because we have a lot of work. But the, I mean, the one song that's been very tricky to finalize. That one made you like uh, your head was aching when writing that song. You needed too much thinking. And you know what? Uh, I think those songs are the ones that people never get to hear. Mm. Because it's always the ones that feels natural to write, very simple, that come, just flows out of your body, okay. that uh, sticks. All right. So like a good friend of mine, uh, uh, Lionel Richie, told me, the, uh, <coughs> uh -oh, 
<laughs> told me the other <laughs> week, uh, he said, it's very simple to create a song, but it's very difficult to create a simple song. So when you have that simple song, that's the one song that people love. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear that. Yeah. All right, we're going back to East Africa. I'm okay. sorry talking about too much about East Africa. No, no, no. Hey, I love yeah. East you Africa. I've been to Swahili. Nairobi. I've been to Mombasa. I've been to... You've been there? Yeah. I've been yeah. to uh, um, Uganda, uh, Kampala, Kampala. Um, Dar es Salaam, yeah, Zanzibar. I, I know the East Coast a little bit. Okay, next time you come to Mombasa or Nairobi, you have to give me a call. Hey, my man, I'm down here, but you know what? Those people want to see you there, so you have to go there and perform for them. I will, and I promise, I will come. All right. You know, all you have to do is call me. All right, we will call you. <laughs> they will call you. I will call you. Don't worry. <laughs> Mohambi. There is this thing, uh, the, uh, the artist from East Africa. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard the music from East Africa. Yes. How, how do you feel about the music of East, for East Africans? Uh, I really love the feeling because what, uh, uh, what we are strong at in, in Africa when it comes to music is uh, the, the happy feeling. Okay. You know, the joy of life mm -hmm. kind of keeps us going. And even though we go through really hard times, and especially in Kenya, Lately, it's been crazy what's been going on. But okay. I, uh, I, rem I remember you did a uh, collab with uh, STL. Yeah, yeah. Very nice song. Thank you. Now, given a now chance. Now let your body go <laughs> and let that booty roll. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> oh, that was a good song. <laughs> okay, given a chance that you're supposed to do another song with somebody from East Africa, mm -hmm. whom, whom do you think you can, can fit in your category? Somebody whom you can sing with from East Africa. Well, actually, I have a very, uh, I have people in my family that come up to me one day. I don't remember exactly who it was. He played me a song. I said, who is this? I said, it's, you don't know Diamond? Diamond. You don't know Diamond? I said, tell me who this is. I want to know. I love this song. And she said, okay, it's Diamond. He's from uh, um, East Africa, and uh, you need to work with him. I said, yes, I will. And today we are actually talking about doing a, Crazy, crazy smash so together. So we should expect something from you and Diamond. Definitely. Big collabo. Big time collabo. Mohambi and Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mohambi, just to wind up a little bit. Uh, the youth down there, when they see you, they see you like a role model. They see you like their icon. They've heard what you've gone through when doing, when coming up to your process of uh, est stabilizing yourself in the music industry. Mm -hmm. What advice can you give it? To, can you give to them? Well, uh, I think the advice I, I, I should give to my fellow uh, Africans, uh, mainly here we talk to e my East African brothers and sisters. It's uh, togetherness. You know, we really need to understand that after everything that our people have gone through, there's only one way we could actually have a chance of catching up the Western world and the developed countries, it's togetherness, to realize that we are one. Because if we start fighting with each other, that's it. We give them an open space to just come in and take whatever they want and leave. And I think that uh, we need to see us as one people, just like the Americans do. They are Americans. You know, They're not Californians. They're not Atlantanians. <laughs> they're not Floridanians. They are Americans. That's how we, the African people should also consider ourselves. Just look at the color of our skin. Simple. Yeah. Mohambia said it all, guys. All you need to hear, you heard it here in the Viva Africa show. That was Mohambi, the king of Vampy Ride. He was right here in the Viva Africa show, chilling with Shy Bull, a.k.a. Obebaba. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't forget, we are one. One love. But Mohambi, you haven't given us a, a little bit... Uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Any freestyle? <laughs> Just a little bit for five seconds. Of course, it's, a, yeah. of course. it's an African from, interview. We, we have need, to yeah, make we need to hear that. from you. People say, man, you did a Photoshop. That was not my home. <laughs> Come on, give us a little bit, like five seconds. <laughs> you give us like, but I'm not a burger. Okay. Camera roll. <clears throat> well, uh, this is my new single. It's actually... Uh, right now, rising in the U.S., and I'm, gon I'm going on a big tour, prom a promotion tour, uh, and it's called Universe. It goes a little bit like this. <clears throat> I won't give you the world, I won't give you the world, I give you my universe. 
now we've fallen in love oh, I promise you girl Earl, I give you my universe yeah shout it out that was the Keep African up. remix <laughs> thank you very much hey what's up all you beautiful people this is Mohombi and you are watching Viva Africa show <laughs>